So look, we're entering a new digital age and everything is changing. And your online community is what's gonna allow you to build a massive online business. Your community increases your service area for clients, connections, and cash flow. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips to grow your online community to a million raving fans. If you don't know who I am, I started and sold the first technology bootcamp in Canada for eight figures when I was 23 years old. I then went on to start the largest and most engaged cannabis community in the world of over 14 million people. I now run a portfolio of profitable internet companies doing over $5 million a year. I'm here to give you the proven systems to accelerate your business and grow a massive online community. In this video, I'm going to share with you three tips to grow your online community to a million raving fans. Number one is create content daily. You need to go and attract your people and content is the best way to do this. You want to make sure you're attracting the right people. And by creating content daily, you're going to go and increase your audience online and then be able to convert that audience to an own community on things like your newsletter. When you're building your community, you need to validate your ideas and content allows you to try out different copywriting formulas and see what resonates with your audience. Creating content is literally the cheapest and easiest way to go and validate your ideas. I would encourage you to go and pick two platforms to start with. Over the last 12 months, I've used a proven system to grow on platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn to over 300 thousand raving fans there. The key is to create content daily. I'm creating content two times a day on each platform using proven copywriting frameworks and formulas that help me stand out. And I've been able to own my niche of founder operating systems as well as own the niche of cannabis marketing. And so I've created a community of over 14 million people on the cannabis side and already in a year built up a community of over 300,000 founders on the founder OS side of things. We want to create our own one person business empire. And the best way to do that is to focus on building your online community. Get started with content. It is the definite way to go. The second thing you want to do is create a community playbook. You really want to codify the founding principles of your community. You want to think about who do you want to bring together. So at Founder OS, we bring together elite founders and help them with proven systems to accelerate their businesses to new heights, generate over $5 million a year and gain massive clarity. You then want to think about things like why does your community come together? With Founder OS, we come together to gain clarity through a vibrant community of amazing legends. We're able to share different playbooks, different learnings, tips, tricks, hidden gems, different systems to accelerate our growth. My belief has always been that if you're trying to be successful in business, you want to steal the playbooks from people that have already been where you're trying to go. With Founder OS community as an example, we have a bunch of legends that are all in there and come together and are sharing tips and tricks with one another. I'm also going live with that community every single week and sharing different playbooks and proven systems that I've learned over the last 14 years, building three profitable businesses. You want to also be clear on what is your purpose. At Founder OS, our community exists to help elite founders gain clarity, dominate their niche, and achieve excellence. Next is you want to think about things like your mission. So my mission at Founder OS is to help elite founders transform their business through proven systems. And I help founders develop an operating system for their business, then go and find formulas to dominate their niche. From there, we help them grow an authentic community around their business, which becomes their competitive advantage, and then help them scale through people, product, and process. The shared activity activities that we have as a community are things like the weekly Q&A we do together. We have a private community of these elite founders within school where everyone's able to ask questions, share hidden gems, tips, tricks, hacks, systems. It's really a place for elite founders to gather and become the best version of themselves. The thing is when someone joins your community, you want to ensure they know the purpose, your mission, how you guys come together to form this engaged community. You're really trying to build almost a cult following around your brand. Brands like Apple, Nike, and Airbnb have achieved this through being clear on their purpose, their mission, and why they're bringing people together. So when you're creating content every day, what you're looking to do is kind of create this content flywheel. You're going to be creating content, which is going to grow your audience, help convert people to an engaged community. You're going to own those people in things like your newsletter, and then be able to convert them to revenue. And so this flywheel starts with content. Content truly increases your surface area for connections, clients, and cash flow. Building that founder flywheel is essential. And this will help you grow your personal brand. It will also help you grow your business brand. So content is really the seed to greatness and would encourage you to get started today. Now, if you're having troubles building content online and growing an authentic audience around your personal brand and your business, you may want to check out Founder OS program and you can find more details on that in the description.
So the third tip is to talk to your community. The truth is that your product roadmap exists in the minds of your customers. I see too many founders that go and they're building their business and they're never actually talking to their users. Their truth is as you go and you set up different customer interviews, you can discover exactly what your customer's looking for and then hone in your product around that vision. The better you are at serving your customer, the faster you're gonna grow, the quicker you're gonna go and dominate your category. I've done this at Herb over the last 10 years to build the most dominant cannabis marketing platform in the world and the largest and most engaged canvas community of 14 million people. I've done this by focusing on the data and talking to thousands of cannabis consumers to understand truly what they're looking for. So I'm going and I'm talking to these people and I'm interviewing them and I'm getting to know exactly what they want from us. From there, I'm then going back and building my product roadmap based on these goals. You can ask them questions like, what's their favorite feature? What would make your product an 11 out of 10? And how do they talk about your brand to others? You can use the responses to these questions, whether it's in a customer interview or via a survey to really improve things like your landing page, your product roadmap, your sales decks, your emails. It can improve tons of things. So we want to hone in on what our customers are excited by and then build those ideas. We're really kind of co-creating our product with our community. Our community, our users are actively having a say in what we're building. And the more you can do this, the more I think you can build a product that truly changes the world. You see a lot of people that just have these random hypotheses they pull out of their head as to what they should build. And I think that's totally the wrong way to do it. Community is truly a competitive advantage. And when you've built your content, you grow an audience and convert those people to an own community, you're able to truly listen to your user and understand what they really want from you. And from those wants and those needs, you're able to hone in your product roadmap and build a product that's truly differentiated, that's sticky and that can dominate your niche. Now, a couple final notes for you. We wanna measure what matters. We wanna make sure that we're measuring the right things so that we can hone in our people, product, and process. And this is a lot of what we go over in Founder OS program. We also wanna make sure that we're leveraging community to be this competitive advantage. Use your community as the core customer base to sell your product and scale alongside them. You've already built distribution now through your community. Now build a product that aligns with their interests and values. If you ever feel unclear on your mission, your vision, your values, and how to build a truly engaged community online, or maybe you're not sure how to build content. Can you imagine feeling incredibly energized at your daily tasks and clear on your vision and how to mobilize the people around you? Well, this is what we go over in Founder OS program, which is really the step-by-step -step blueprint for building a successful online business. We help you hone in on your company's operating system, dominate your niche, grow your community, and then scale your business through people, product, and process. Founder OS program is literally the step-by-step -step blueprint for building your successful online business. And if you're looking to grow your community, you're looking to grow an audience, and you're looking to create massive amounts of content to increase your clients, connections, and cash flows, then this is the program for you. And if you're curious about a system to accelerate your growth this year, be sure to check out my monk mode system. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, join my newsletter in the description, and like this video. And I can't wait to see you in the program.